exploring the mysteries of Beta Pictoris. In the vast expanse of space, 63 light years away in the Pictor constellation, lies a fascinating star system known as Beta Pictoris. Recently, the James Webb Space Telescope, a marvel of modern astronomy, has given us a closer look at this intriguing system. Using its mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, astronomers have been able to delve deep into the mysteries of Beta Pictoris. What exactly is Beta Pictoris, you might wonder? It's a system featuring not just one, but two debris disks. These disks are like cosmic rings made up of dust, rocks, and ice circling the star. Imagine the rings of Saturn, but on a much grander scale. The main debris disk of Beta Pictoris has been known for some time, but it's the secondary disk that's been drawing attention lately, especially since the Hubble Space Telescope first detected it. Now here's where it gets even more interesting. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its cutting-edge infrared vision, revealed something astonishing in the Beta Pictoris system. It spotted a curious curvy dust formation extending from the secondary debris disk. Picture a cat's tail swirling elegantly in space. That's what this dust formation resembles. This cat's tail is an incredible 10 billion miles long. To put that into perspective, it's over 100 times the distance from the Earth to the Sun. You might be curious about what this dust is made of. Well, it's believed to be similar to the material found on comets and asteroids in our own solar system. These are the small, icy and rocky bodies that orbit our Sun. The dust in this cosmic tail could hold clues to the processes happening in Beta Pictoris. But how did this dust tail form? That's a puzzle scientists are trying to solve. One possibility is a dramatic event, like asteroids or comets colliding, or even the breakup of planetesimals. These are the building blocks of planets. Such events can create a burst of dust, much like how a car crash on Earth results in debris. The study of Beta Pictoris doesn't just end here. The image captured by the James Webb Space Telescope spans about 3.6 arc seconds across. In simpler terms, this is equivalent to 712 times the distance from the Earth to the Sun, known as astronomical units, AEU. This vast span of space, captured in such fine detail, is a testament to the incredible capabilities of the telescope. So what does all this mean for us? Studying systems like Beta Pictoris helps us understand the formation and evolution of our own solar system. It's like looking back in time to see how planets and other celestial bodies came to be. In summary, the James Webb Space Telescope has opened a new window into the universe, allowing us to explore the depths of space like never before. The discovery of the cat's tail in the Beta Pictoris system is just one example of how this incredible tool is enhancing our understanding of the cosmos. Each observation brings us one step closer to unraveling the mysteries of the universe. Webb's groundbreaking discovery of the smallest free-floating brown dwarf. Have you ever heard of brown dwarfs? These fascinating objects are cosmic enigmas, lying somewhere between stars and planets in the vast canvas of space. The James Webb Space Telescope, a marvel in astronomical technology, has recently made a groundbreaking discovery in this realm. Within the distant star cluster IC348, about 1,000 light years away, Webb detected the smallest free-floating brown dwarf ever seen. This extraordinary find was made possible by Webb's highly sensitive infrared capabilities. The star cluster IC348 is relatively young, only about 5 million years old, a mere infant in cosmic terms. In this cluster, the tiny brown dwarf floating freely without a star to orbit presents a unique opportunity for scientists. Why is this discovery so important? Brown dwarfs, often described as the missing link between planets and stars, are key to understanding both star and planet formation. They share characteristics with the smallest stars and the largest exoplanets, making them intriguing subjects for study. Unlike exoplanets, which often hide in the bright glare of their host stars, free-floating brown dwarfs like this one are unattached and easier to observe directly. This leads to an intriguing question. Could this object be a rare rogue planet instead of a brown dwarf? 
this possibility seems unlikely. Given the youth and low mass of the surrounding stars in IC 348, it's improbable that they could have formed and then ejected a giant planet in such a short span of time. The identification of this brown dwarf by the James Webb Space Telescope opens new doors in our quest to understand the universe. It blurs the lines between stars and planets, offering insights into the formation of celestial bodies. Each observation by Webb not only enhances our knowledge, but also deepens the mystery of space, inviting us to keep exploring and questioning. What other secrets might be hiding in the depths of the cosmos, waiting for us to uncover them? Webb captures the origin of the universe's most distant fast radio burst. In the depths of the cosmos, the James Webb Space Telescope has captured an image that's not just a feast for the eyes, but a puzzle for the mind. The subject is the host galaxy of a fast radio burst, FRB, known as FRB 20220610A, an enigmatic signal from space. This particular FRB, first detected on June 10, 2022 by the Australian Square Kilometre Array Pathfinder, ASCAP, in Western Australia, stands out for its incredible power and distant origin. But what exactly is a fast radio burst? Think of it as a brief flash of radio waves coming from far across the universe. These bursts are incredibly short, lasting only a few milliseconds, yet they pack a punch, releasing as much energy as the sun does in a day. The origin of FRBs is still a mystery, making each discovery a crucial piece in the cosmic puzzle. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its unparalleled sensitivity, reveals in this image a compact cluster of multiple galaxies. These galaxies, possibly in the middle of merging, offer a glimpse into a time when the universe was just 5 billion years old, less than half its current age. The Very Large Telescope in Chile confirmed the distant origin of FRB 20220610A, pointing to this group of galaxies as its home. This discovery raises several intriguing questions. How do galaxies merging relate to these mysterious radio bursts? What can this tell us about the universe when it was younger? The image captured by Webb is more than just a snapshot of a distant galaxy. It's a window into the early universe, offering clues about how galaxies form and evolve. Each FRB detected helps astronomers understand the universe's vast, complex, and dynamic nature. The James Webb Space Telescope's ability to capture such images is not just a triumph of technology, but also a beacon guiding us through the mysteries of the cosmos. What other secrets might these distant galaxies hold, and how will they reshape our understanding of the universe? The Galactic Dance of HCG 86 In the vastness of space, the James Webb Space Telescope has turned its gaze to a remarkable assembly of galaxies known as HCG 86. This group residing 270 million light-years away in the constellation Sagittarius presents a cosmic ballet of four galaxies in close proximity. Unlike the isolated existence of many celestial bodies, these galaxies share a unique bond captured in an image that reveals more than meets the eye. HCG 86, or Hickson Compact Group 86, is part of a fascinating category of galaxies. These groups consist of four to 10 galaxies in such close quarters that their interactions become a crucial part of their existence. But what does it mean for galaxies to interact? As they gravitate towards each other, they can exchange material, alter each other's shapes, and sometimes even merge to form a larger galaxy. It's like a cosmic dance, where each partner influences the other's movements. The arrangement of HCG 86 is particularly intriguing. Viewed from Earth, these galaxies appear in a triangular shape, with three aligned in a straight line and one positioned just below. It's a celestial formation that prompts curiosity. How did these galaxies come to be in such a formation? What stories do their interactions tell? Astronomer Rosella Ragusa and her team 
as part of the VST Early Type Galaxy Survey or Vegas program, have delved into these questions. Their observations, using the James Webb Space Telescope's precise capabilities, have unearthed faint structures in the peripheries of these galaxies. These structures are like galactic fingerprints, telling tales of past gravitational interactions and mergers. It's believed that these faint remnants are the leftovers from smaller satellite galaxies that were once part of this group, swallowed up around 7 billion years ago. The study of HCG 86 doesn't just offer a glimpse into the dynamics of galaxy interactions, it also sheds light on the process of galactic evolution. As galaxies come together in groups like HCG 86, they can undergo dramatic changes, transforming and evolving in ways that solitary galaxies might not. So what does the future hold for HCG 86? Will these galaxies continue to dance around each other, or will they eventually merge into a single, larger galaxy? The James Webb Space Telescope's observations of HCG 86 provide not just a snapshot of the current state of these galaxies, but also a window into their past and a hint at their future. As we continue to observe and study these celestial gatherings, we gain a deeper understanding of the complex and dynamic nature of our universe. Unveiling the Shadows of the Cosmos. In a groundbreaking venture to unlock the secrets of the cosmos, the first results have emerged from the Kilo Degree Survey, KIDS. This major exploration of dark matter has its eyes set on the southern skies, peering deep into the universe's mysteries. Using the powerful capabilities of the James Webb Space Telescope, the survey has embarked on a remarkable journey to understand one of astronomy's greatest enigmas, dark matter. What is dark matter, and why is it so important? Imagine a hidden force that doesn't emit light or energy, but has a massive gravitational pull it's like the invisible scaffolding of the universe, holding galaxies together. Although we can't see dark matter directly, we know it's there because of its gravitational effects on visible matter, light, and the structure of the universe. The KIDS survey focuses on over 2 million galaxies in the Virgo constellation. But how do you study something you can't see? The answer lies in a phenomenon called gravitational lensing. When light from distant galaxies travels towards us, it passes through dark matter. This unseen matter bends the light, much like a lens, distorting our view of the galaxies beyond. By analyzing these distortions, astronomers can map the dark matter's presence and distribution. The findings from KIDS are startling. They reveal that these celestial clusters contain about 30 times more dark matter than visible matter. This is a profound discovery, indicating that what we see in the universe the stars, planets, and galaxies is just the tip of the iceberg. What does this mean for our understanding of the universe? The KIDS survey, using the James Webb Space Telescope, is not just mapping the skies, it's rewriting our cosmic story. It's shedding light on the dark corners of the universe, helping us piece together the puzzle of how galaxies are formed and evolve. Each image and data point captured by Webb in this survey adds to our knowledge of the early universe and the role dark matter plays in it. The journey through the cosmos is full of mysteries and wonders, and with each discovery, we edge closer to understanding the fabric of our universe. What other secrets are hidden in the vast expanse of space, waiting to be unveiled by the eyes of the KIDS survey? Exploring the depths of the running chicken nebula. Nestled in the vast expanse of the universe, the running chicken nebula, also known as IC 2944, presents a cosmic spectacle. Captured through the lens of the James Webb Space Telescope, this image is a window into a region brimming with stellar activity. Located 6,500 light years away in the Centaurus constellation, the running chicken nebula is a bustling hub in our Milky Way galaxy. What exactly are we looking at in this image? Picture an enormous canvas in the sky, about 25 times the size of a full moon. 
That's the scale of this 1.5 billion pixel image. The nebula is an emission nebula, meaning it glows with its own light. This light comes from the ionization of hydrogen gas, when energetic light from nearby stars excites the hydrogen atoms, causing them to emit light. The nebula is a kaleidoscope of gas and dust, shown here in delicate wispy pink plumes. These clouds are the cradle of star formation, illuminated by the light of young, hot stars within them. It's a region where new stars are being born, a nursery in the vastness of space. But what makes the Running Chicken Nebula so special? Apart from its playful name and stunning appearance, it's a key area for studying star formation. The processes happening within this nebula are similar to those that occurred billions of years ago, leading to the formation of stars and planets, including our own solar system. The James Webb Space Telescope's view into the Running Chicken Nebula is not just a visual feast. It's a journey into the heart of stellar birth and evolution. Each star and swirl of gas in this image tells a story of cosmic proportions. What secrets do these young stars hold? How do they transform the gas and dust around them? The exploration of this nebula is like unraveling the mysteries of the universe's past, one star at a time. The Splendor of Demel 190, a journey through a supernova's aftermath. The James Webb Space Telescope offers us a front row seat to one of the most spectacular shows, the supernova remnant, Demel 190, also known as LMC N49. This celestial phenomenon, residing approximately 160,000 light years away in the constellation Dorado, is a testament to the dramatic life cycle of stars. What exactly are we witnessing in this image? Demel 190 is the aftermath of a massive star's explosive demise in the Large Magellanic Cloud, a companion galaxy to our Milky Way. The remnants of this cosmic explosion present themselves as colorful, intricate filaments and delicate sheets stretching across the vastness of space. These remnants are more than just visually striking. They are the building blocks for future cosmic events. The vibrant hues and complex structures seen in this image are the result of intense interactions between the supernova's debris and the interstellar medium, the sparse yet significant mix of gas and dust that pervades the space between stars. This interaction is not just a sight to behold, it's a cosmic laboratory offering insights into the life and death of stars. Adding to the intrigue, astronomers using the James Webb Space Telescope have pinpointed within DEMEL 190 an enigmatic object known as a soft gamma-ray repeater. This mysterious source periodically unleashes high-energy bursts of gamma rays, the most energetic form of light. What could be the origin of these bursts? The answer lies hidden in the depths of the supernova remnant. This isn't the first time DML-190 has graced our view. A previous image, captured in 2003, introduced us to this magnificent supernova remnant. However, the latest image from Webb with additional data and advanced processing techniques, paints an even more vivid and detailed portrait of this celestial fireworks display. Each image of DML 190 is a reminder of the universe's dynamic nature and the fleeting yet impactful lives of stars. It prompts us to ponder, what secrets do these cosmic remnants hold? How do they shape the galaxy around them? Through the eyes of the James Webb Space Telescope, we continue to explore these mysteries, unraveling the stories woven into the fabric of the cosmos. Unveiling the mysteries of Westerland One and its colossal star, deep in the southern constellation of Ara, Approximately 15,000 light-years away lies an astonishing superstar cluster known as Westerland 1. This image, captured by the James Webb Space Telescope, reveals a rare and intriguing cosmic phenomenon around one of the cluster's stars. Westerland 1 is not just any star cluster. It's an extraordinary assembly of hundreds of massive and luminous stars, each in its infancy at just a few million years old. Stars, like people, have life stages, 
and these are mere toddlers in stellar terms. Yet, our view of this stellar nursery is obscured by clouds of gas and dust, making it challenging to see the true splendor of these celestial bodies. Among this stellar crowd, one star stands out, W26, a red supergiant, and potentially the largest star we know of. But what's particularly intriguing about W26? Astronomers have discovered something unexpected. Clouds of glowing hydrogen gas surrounding it, visible as green features in this new image. This discovery is surprising because such glowing clouds, known as ionized nebulas, are incredibly rare around massive stars, especially around red supergiants. But what causes this glow around W26, given that red supergiants are too cool to ionize gas? Scientists speculate that this illumination could be from hot blue stars elsewhere in the cluster, or possibly a fainter yet hotter companion star to W26. It's like solving a cosmic mystery where the clues are hidden in the light itself. This discovery is not just a visual marvel, it holds deeper significance. W26 is on track to eventually end its life in a spectacular supernova explosion. The nebula around it bears a resemblance to the nebula surrounding SN 1987A, the remnants of a star that exploded in 1987. SN 1987A was the closest supernova observed since 1604, providing astronomers a rare opportunity to study these cosmic events up close. By studying nebulae like the one around W26, astronomers can delve into the mass loss processes in massive stars. These processes are vital to understanding how stars like W26 reach their explosive end. It's like piecing together the final chapters in the life story of a star. The James Webb Space Telescope's observation of Westerlund, one offers more than a stunning image. It's a key to unlocking the secrets of star formation, evolution, and demise. What other mysteries might be hidden in this cluster, waiting to be uncovered by the eyes of Webb? The universe is full of wonders, and each discovery brings us closer to understanding the grand tapestry of the cosmos. Unraveling the mysteries of Herbig Harrow, 797 with Webb Herbig Harrow 797, HH 797, presents a fascinating act. Captured in this image by the James Webb Space Telescope, what appears to be a simple string along the bottom is actually a complex scene of stellar infancy. This string is a shining example of the wonders hidden in the universe, revealed now through Webb's keen eye. Herbig Harrow objects like HH 797 are luminous regions surrounding newborn stars. They form under dramatic conditions. When powerful jets of gas ejected by these baby stars collide with the surrounding gas and dust at high velocities, these collisions create bright, visible patches in space, showcasing the energetic processes of starbirth. Initially, astronomers believe that only a single star was responsible for the spectacle of HH-797. However, Webb's high-resolution capabilities tell a different story. This telescope, with its advanced infrared vision, has unveiled not one, but two baby stars at the heart of HH-797. These stars, in their early stages of life, are spewing out nearly parallel jets of gas, sculpting their nursery in space. But the intrigue doesn't stop there. In the upper half of the image, bright objects hint at the presence of two more infant stars. Webb's ability to peer through the obscuring gas and dust with its infrared gaze allows us to study these young stars and their outflows in unparalleled detail. These discoveries raise captivating questions. How do these infant stars influence their cosmic environment? What can they tell us about the process of star formation and the evolution of galaxies? The James Webb Space Telescope is not just capturing images, it's providing a deeper understanding of the universe. Each observation enriches our knowledge of the cosmos, inviting us to explore further and uncover the secrets of star formation and celestial evolution.
Which galactic marvel was your favorite? The baby stars or the luminous nebula? Drop your choice in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on the video on screen for more space adventures. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars and stay curious. Safe travels in the cosmos.